wheel of ideas from the fans. There's a great idea behind each one of those cards. Okay. I will spin the wheel for you. You're gonna shoot at it. Whatever you hit, we will build. I love the sounds of this. All right, give it a spin. Sure. So what is it? These are the options. I mean, it's obvious for me. This is it, this is the one. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the no? cannon. <laughs> Could possibly say no to a cannon. All right, Eric, we're in position. What's the ammunition? A Brussels sprout. <laughs> The only thing they're good for. <laughs> right. You ready? Fire in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> what did we hit? Let's have a look. Let's check it out. Okay. Pretty clear which one it is. <laughs> right. Some salad? Dinner is prepared. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Javelin launcher. Oh, we go Olympic. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can safely say I have never tried that sport. Not me either, but I have many ideas how to launch a javelin. Well, should we put our ideas to paper? Yeah, All let's right. think it through. Let's go. I learned a few things earlier, and one being we are never, ever, ever going to be in the Olympics for javelin throwing. <laughs> Don't give up hope. <laughs> and secondly, that this is going to be a little complex, trying to launch this out of a machine versus our hands. So yes. we have a lot more control in our hands than obviously launching this out of a machine. So how do you think we're going to tackle that? This has to go. We don't need it. The spear is designed really to be thrown like this, but for us, this is uh, obsolete because we're actually going to accelerate it from here. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is we need to build a rail system. That means we can accelerate it from here without having a lot of wobble. And this is actually, see my little sketch here? Oh, yeah. Of course, it's, it's, it's based around a track system. We can easily attach uh, a fork and then we can put on lots of rubber and then it will be long, as, at least as long as the javelin. And on this side we will then simply have a pistol grip and a trigger and maybe a winch if we should find that we need so much rubber that we can no longer cock this by hand. Sure. Well, it seems like a straightforward enough design. Maybe I'll grab this, measure the length of it and I'll get you the track system going. That way you can start designing the body around it. Yeah, and I will work on the trigger part a little more. All right, I'll Great. get to it. Good luck. I just designed the front plate. This is what in the slingshot world we are calling the fork. It doesn't look like a fork really, but that is because here and here we're going to attach the rubber bands. And uh, on a normal handheld slingshot made from a natural tree fork, you would actually do this to the end of the, uh, of the fork arms. So that's why we still call this a fork. This has to be well rounded because otherwise it will cut the rubber. This is where the javelin will go through later on. And this is the U profiles. I want free access to them. It's made from nice thick plywood and I have to saw it out now. So your prize for winning this fun competition of javelin darts today is to shoot that, if you're up to it. Hell yeah. And explode that target. They just got a hell of a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> I figured you might like that. I should, I should be so grown up, but this is like every man's dream. Yes. Well, we're so here to make dreams come true. for the hardest javelin throw you will ever make in your life. <laughs> I'm kind of excited, but kind of nervous at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it's you a bit be. scary, I agree. Dirty Harry, hit your heart out. Let's do it. <laughs> so Dean was truly like a kid in a candy store today. When I told him that that target was loaded with explosives, he was antsy to get his fingers on that trigger. You don't understand that on my bucket list, driving a Formula One car, shooting a massive gun and blowing stuff up is on there. 